Hello guys, Thrash here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the leveling system in Destiny, and how that's going to be working out. Like, uh, how like getting level 40 works, how the light levels work, how all that jazz works. So I'm not playing Destiny here, this is a clip from Dead Rising 3 that I recorded a long time ago. I didn't have any good Destiny footage on me, so I thought I would just use this one. So, basically how it's going to work is, you know how you leveled up to level 20, when you go into Destiny, uh, your current light level will be a regular level, so say you're level 34, you'll be put in as a level 34, and you will level up all the way up to 40, just how you got up to level 20, so just regular experience, doing bounties, crucible, and whatnot, and I don't know, I don't know. And after you hit level 40, you have reached the uh, level cap, just the level cap. Like, level 20 was the level cap, and the light cap was 34. But it's going to change. You're going to go in as a 34, if you're 34 already. And then you'll go all the way up to 40, so you'll have six levels to go up if you're a 34 going in. And afterwards, uh, you actually could see, like, light levels of 200 and light levels of 300. Basically what your light level is, is the average defense and attack damage on your uh, gear that you have. And that includes your class items and your ghost. Your ghost has light, your class item has light, now, all that crap has light. It's just your average attack and defense on your item. So I'll say all of your, um, your, uh, all your armor has uh, 180 defense and all your weapons have 180 attack. Your light level would be 180. It basically is just the average uh, number of all your gear and how powerful it is. It's not the light level per se that makes you more powerful, it's your gear that's more powerful. Light level is just saying how powerful you are with all your gear put together. Like, you are uh, light level 200, you're pretty powerful. You're level 40, you got your light level 200. And it just kind of sums up how powerful you are. It's not the light level that makes you more powerful, it's just your summed up average number of your gear. Um, I'm very excited for Taken King. Um, I think it's going to be a great DLC. And I was skeptical at first when you saw me make the video. It could ruin Destiny. And I bet this will like make a large crowd of people move away from Destiny. Because it's really changing the architecture and the climate of Destiny. It's changing how the game works. And some people might not like that. And don't buy Taken King and kind of not play Destiny anymore. And that's why you can't do this crap very much in games. This is like Destiny 2, basically. It's that big of a deal. See, it cost me $40. I already bought it. Um, and also, I have something to say about the pre-order bonus. Um, so, as we know, lots of people in the UK, um, or people in Canada, anywhere around the globe except for America, do not have the GameStop, and they had a pre-order bonus. They allowed you to get the Suros Arsenal, it gives you an auto rifle, scout rifle, emblem, shader, all that crap. It looks awesome. Um, I'll talk more, that's for another video. I'll also be talking about the year one rewards and how you get them. Um, so basically, you could only get it games that was a GameStop exclusive, and people in the UK were mad about that. So what Bungie uh, did just a couple days ago, they updated the pre-order bonus, the digital pre-order bonus that you would, uh, Go like when you went on the game store, you could pre order a game on Xbox One or PS4. You could just go pre order it, and there's a pre order bonus that came with that. That was just recently updated. If you look at like the thumbnail, you can see it is also the Vanguard pre order bonus that it was originally, and on top of that, it is also the Seros bonus. So now people in the UK, people in Canada, yada yada yada, uh, have uh, their bonus, their pre order bonus that they get for pre ordering it digitally. And because they don't got GameStop, so they couldn't get that pre-order boss, and that wasn't fair, obviously. So, uh, Bungie said, hey, let's just throw this in on the pre-order bonus that we had digitally and not make this a GameStop exclusive. Give some love to the people that don't live in America like us. So that's great to hear that they're also getting the bonus, because I recently looked, and that was updated to the Suros bonus as well. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, do whatever the hell you want, and I'll see you guys in the next video.